Welcome back. I am so excited tonight. We've got a great guest, a good friend of mine, Victoria, Vicky Tambunting. Vicky, welcome to the show. How are you? Thank you, Sunny. But before that, good evening, everyone. <laughs> okay, I hope you listen to my message because it's going to help not only you, your friends and family. Awesome. So Vicky is the owner of two businesses. She's got her Victoria Tambunting Photography and her Victoria Vicky Vegas blog which is we're going to talk a little bit talk a little bit about more but before we do that tell me how long you've been operating these both businesses and then just give us give us your background well um sunny i um this is my background it's kind of strange because i'm uh, doing this podcast and all that stuff and photography but it's quite far from my background so i'll, I'll tell you in the philippines i've been a lawyer for the last 25 years so i do um civic civil law all right, so uh-huh. that's what I do in the Philippines. I used to be a teacher, and then uh, I finished my nursing course. It's practical nursing. Jeez. Yeah, and then uh, because I uh, my kids were born in the United States, okay. so that's what you call anchor babies. Mm. Okay, so they were born in the United States, and then they were telling me, Ma, because we're U.S. citizens, we want to live there and study there. And I had a house here in Las Vegas, so I said I couldn't I couldn't come because number one, I have no contacts here. Mm. You know, I'm a lawyer in the Philippines. I can't practice law here until I uh, challenge the bar. Yes. So I said, maybe I'll, uh, what's, you know, what do they, who are the people they hire here right away? So I said, oh, nursing. So I took <laughs> up nursing, but the ECS, because my gosh, I didn't even know if I could go back to school. So I took up practical nursing. And then I said, oh, maybe uh, another thing that's uh you know that they hire here in Las Vegas would be um, culinary people. Yeah. So I did the full culinary course for um, cooking and baking. Oh my gosh. And it was so <laughs> much fun. But then you know what? I, I believe that um, it was fated to be also because my legal background and then my marketing background and my medical, which is the nursing background, and uh, this culinary really made me a well-rounded person, which oh, I yeah. believe could have help me tackle any you know any topic so uh, okay the thing i'm not interested in is cars <laughs> i'm not interested in cars so i mean it turns me off though but talk about jewelry that's great anyway let me tell you so um when i so my children said they wanted to live here but that was 2010 and i told them you know what number one i have no contacts here in las vegas i don't know anybody here number two it was election season mm. and you know because of my legal background i was helping a presidential candidate mm-hmm. that was manny villar i see yeah against noi noi but you know what when uh when Corey died, it was all noi noi all the way. So I mean, we were we were top, and then noi noi was second. But after that, oh, we never reached him. So anyway, I stayed because I was helping in the presidential campaign. I used to work in the Senate of the Philippines. So really, my background is legal okay. and politics. Yeah. So when I came here in in Las Vegas. I realized I didn't want to work because I was 50. So I said, maybe I should retire and just enjoy my life, you know, with my kids and all that stuff. So um, so when I came here, um, what what could I do? So what I did, I noticed that there's a lot of networking events here. Mm-hmm. But, you know, because I'm a woman, I'm new, I'm Asian, Filipino, whatever. Of course, I was a little bit shy. So I was observing first. But I would um, veer towards all these legal things. So at that time, there was, uh, I think, uh, elections for judges. Okay. So I said, you know, when you're going to help a person, when will you help them? Mm -hmm. You have to help them when they need help. So at that time, I helped some of the judges, I mean the candidates, to become judges, and I felt so good. And part of it was taking pictures. Okay. Because pictures is really publicity. Yes. And now we realize 10 years later that that's the you know that's the way to go so that's my photo- that's where i began photography i it was just a hobby but then i realized people you know they all wanted to uh, have their photos taken they wanted to <laughs> document what happened in their event you know birthdays and everything so i said okay i'll try that because i had, i wasn't working and then in um, 2020 mm-hmm. 
you all know that 2020, nobody wants to go back there. <laughs> yeah. Um, so um, I remember March 17. I remember it because I cried when I was posting in Facebook. I said, do you know Las Vegas, the city that never sleeps? I love mm-hmm. Las Vegas. Huh? Yeah. Just closed. Closed. Everything was closed. So I cried. I said, how could that happen? I mean, you would never have thought of it. And so my kids and I, since we we were all at home, we were talking, you know what? We feel for people who probably put in money Mm -hmm. and invested in, let's say, a restaurant. Because we were thinking of doing that. And we said, oh my gosh, the timing. If you put out money, invested in a restaurant, everything is closed, totally closed, no employees, no nothing, but the rent is still continuing. Of course. So how will you yeah. get out of the situation? That's why, you know, I said, oh my gosh. And every time a business closes, like a restaurant or a mom and pop store or any business, I feel so bad. I really feel for them. That's why I started my Vicky Vegas YouTube channel. So the the you know my my vision is for Vicky Vegas YouTube channel I call it your source for everything Las Vegas I promote Las Vegas businesses and tourism to the world so guys like Sonny said I am one of your resources I promote you for free okay so my name is Vicky Vegas you can find me uh, in <laughs> in YouTube it's called uh, Vicky V I C K I and then Vegas that's it you know Vicky you, you, it's so true what you're doing and, and people sometimes don't understand the power of, of having uh, a, a YouTube channel for example or or, or or a what an influencer like you talking about Vegas in their businesses yes. so I have a, a friend of mine who started a website as well and um, it's now one of the top five most visited um, I guess website and when when it comes to Las Vegas, yes, and it's really driving, and it's same concept, free yes. for every businesses, yes, yes. And, and and now it, it, like all the cab drivers <laughs> go to where his address is. <laughs> yeah, oh, <laughs> yeah. that's so, so great. Yeah, yeah. So I, I guess you in, you answered my question number two is really what inspired you to do this. You yes. did this because you wanted to help. But- Sunny, let me let me first tell you. Yeah. Uh, um, okay, so my name is Victoria Tambunting. So everybody asks me, the moment they hear Victoria Tambunting, if you're Filipino, you know the last name Tambunting. But then here when I got to the States, uh, uh, how do you pronounce your name? Uh, Tambunting, Tambunting, the, yeah. you know, all that stuff. So I said, you know, if I'm going to make a YouTube channel, I got to change my name. Oh, just yeah. Something easy, easy to remember, you know, just to click. So I was reading one post in Facebook. It said that your stripper name is your first name and the city where you live. So I said, hey, I live in Vegas. My name is Vicky Vegas. So that's my stripper name. Oh, my gosh. So really, really easy to remember. That's why that's that's what I'm using. But it's a an I V I C K I. That's it, Vicky Vegas. I love it. <laughs> what you're doing is truly amazing. It's promoting small businesses here. Uh, can you tell me so people can understand? And I know you just touched on it, but how important is this for small business to be promoted? by an influencer like you what does it add to that business okay i don't know if i'm wrong by assuming if it's a small business they don't have much of capital Mm -hmm. they don't have much of cash so what you're gonna try to do you know we're all filipinos we know how to do you know underground and all this stuff so here in the states it's a totally different thing so everything has to be above board everything legal so i'm thinking those small businesses um, they should look for resources that are free to promote your business. Yes. For example, I'm going to have an event um, this September 21. You guys are invited if you're in Las Vegas. This September 21, I'm going to have a big networking event Why? Uh, and, and my birthday at the same time. Last year, I started the Vicky Vegas um, YouTube channel September 21. That was also my birthday. So this is my first year anniversary last year i made it networking this year i'm gonna make it networking again because it's not all about me it's all about you guys so what i'm saying is this one is going i want to make this affordable for you if you have a small business you can uh put a hundred dollar ad here there you go 
there. Mm -hmm. It's not easy to find a place where you can just put an ad for $100. So I have a Vicky Vegas resource book. Hopefully, hopefully we get you in there because my vision is to have a book where my clients will open it. Let's say I have a lot of uh, doctor clients. I have a lot of lawyer clients. I want them to see, oh, today I need a, a repairman for my bathroom. I want them to open that resource book and find that little guy, the handyman, find him there and he will have business. Or maybe this doctor will say, I wanna have a party and I need a caterer. I'll open it, that book, and oh, there's this little Filipino caterer that you know will fulfill my needs, or this Filipino guy who can supply me the lobsters because uh, the lobster guy is in my book. So <laughs> yeah, so I want that book to be for you. Um, actually, for me, everything is free when I have this big event on September 21. You can find me, of course, at Vicky Vegas, but you can go to info at vickyvegas.com. So it's so easy if you need more information. And even not for that day, even if you don't put an ad, I want you to be there to network. And when you network, I would like to advise you to be ready. It's like going to war with bullets. Okay, so what do you need? You need, well... <laughs> You need your confidence. You got to go around and promote your business. Remember, that's free. And then you need business cards. If you want, uh, you want to know who does my business cards and uh, you can go to them, it's called the All American Printers. So you can go to them also. Again, it's All American Printers. They do my business cards. They can do your business card. And if you need uh, someone who can do your ad, I can give you that. For $20, he's going to create your ad. You can never find that in Las Vegas. But I have a friend I ask if he can do it for $20? He said yes. So let me know how I can help you. But come to this event, Vicky Vegas. I okay. love it. Thank See, you. Look Thank at you, that. He, he's already promoting people right here on yeah. the show. It's amazing. And that's exactly what it's all about. But you're 100% right, by the, by the way, Vicky. Uh, majority of the small businesses, of course, they watch the capital that they spend. Yes. And especially with Asian-owned businesses, I found that Marketing is sometimes last in their list because, yeah. of course, it costs money. Especially, well, the, the, sorry, let me take scale that back. Spe specifically, when it comes to social media marketing, mm -hmm. it's something that they don't think. Ah, okay, okay, we could just do the bare minimum with that, not realizing how big, how important that is. Yes, yeah. and not only the Asian community. I, I talked to somebody from the East Side, and a lot of the Hispanic restaurants, for example, some of them don't even understand the power of Yelp. Yeah. And, and they don't know that that's what people look at now when they're when they're looking at a restaurant to eat. So, no, this, it's <laughs> oh, fantastic. I remember. Uh, w you know what? I, w I graduated from the University of the Philippines, so I'm a little dated, like 40 years ago. <laughs> so here, here's the thing I learned because I was major, majoring in marketing. You know what they said? Uh, at, at that time, it, it was still Philip Drucker, you know, the most famous guy in marketing. But the, uh, it was they were saying that... Um, when you build a mouse trap, there are mice or mouse in in the house is really really bad. It it's annoying, irritating, and everything. So you build a mouse trap for these people to catch the mice. Mm -hmm. So you know what they were saying. That book was saying for marketing that if you build a better mouse trap, do you think you're gonna sell more? The answer is no. <laughs> The answer is no. Why? Because you need to promote your business. Not because you have the best food, the best, yeah. oh, you're the most talented person. You got to market yourself. That's the most important thing. So it's not really building a better mousetrap. Magic. No. You got to promote that. Oh, that, no. It, no, I, I believe that. That's uh, true. true. That's 100% yeah. true. <laughs> so how can the audience be added to your network? How can I? I want to be part of Vicky Vegas. <laughs> yes. Well, just uh, find me in uh, YouTube, V I C K I Vegas, Vicky Vegas, uh, YouTube channel. Subscribe, like, and share. So, and uh, you know, I have a Vicky Vegas YouTube. 
page in uh, Facebook. But I'm more active in my Victoria Tambunting Photos page and then the Vicky Vegas YouTube channel. So go to Vicky Vegas YouTube channel. If you want to email me, you have questions, you need help, for free, I'm going to help you. Um, just go to info at vickyvegas.com. I love it. Thank you. So can you describe to me the process of what the small business needs to do uh, when they want to be added to your network? So what, what do, they be, do they need to be ready to be interviewed? Do they need to be ready with some ads? Or? Okay, okay, okay. No, okay. The only reason I was um, creating the book is because uh, I was doing this you know, for my um, one year anniversary. But my collecting all your information and my helping you is the whole year round. So to join my organization or, you know, that Vicky Vegas YouTube to join, you don't really need, I, I, I understand if you're just, uh, you don't know what to do because everybody in the <laughs> beginning doesn't know what to do. You know what? So. That's why you have to ask. Now, I used to teach law, law school in uh, the Philippines for 11 years. Okay, wow. so I used to teach law school. Now, uh, this is what I tell my students. Guys, if you have questions, you better ask me. Don't ask that person beside you because that person doesn't know any better. Okay, you always have to ask the experts. So I feel that... Uh, among other people, I probably know a little more about this in helping you. Of course, there are a lot of resources, but in helping you, ask people who know. Don't ask your relatives, your friends, what do they know? So ask the experts. There you so that's go. That's my advice. <laughs> that's good advice. Uh, can I tell them uh, the experience that I had last year in your... Yeah, your, please. Because you know, it was great. She had it streaming live. Yes. Uh, which is fantastic. And then she had people talk about their business. Yes. Uh, on, on air. Yes. Which on was air. fantastic. So yes. I, I thought it was a good platform for you to be able to talk about what you sell, what you do, what service you provide. Yes. And, and, and uh, a great in, way to meet people. In last year's event, I had more than uh, 200 people. So I, even I was surprised because they wanted, they all wanted to promote their businesses. I held it in Cat's Meow. Yeah. Cat's Meow is a, is, is a very nice place in uh, downtown Las Vegas. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what? When people come here, they always want to go to um, the Strip, all those big malls and everything. But I wanted to promote um, downtown Las Vegas because that's the original Las Vegas. And there are a lot of beautiful things to see there. You know, uh, my friend, Yohi Yoshi, yeah. uh, he owns several buildings and all that stuff. He keeps on developing, developing, developing um, his Neonopolis. And then every time he has an opening there, you know what? It really brings um, a lot to the economy of uh, Las Vegas. So I always invite people to that side of town. They were saying, oh, we don't want to go there. It's scary and all that stuff. I said, no, <laughs> if I'm a local. I should know, you should see it. So um, those are the businesses that I promote. It was in Cat's Meow. And the beauty about Cat's Meow is it has three um, branches in three states. And they had this live streaming camera where 1.8 uh, billion people were watching. Was it billion? No, it's 1.8 million people watching. Yeah. So it was just streaming. Imagine if people see your business in that uh, streaming platform because they, they just look. It's just going on uh, the whole time. So I wanted to promote those businesses. And I was so happy because like I had someone who was selling uh, costume jewelry, clothes, <laughs> you know. So I was so happy at that time. So thank you, Sonny, for coming and making know, those beautiful of course, comments. No problem. And the feedback, yeah, enjoyed it. <laughs> the feedback to me was that, hey, Vicky, I got a lot of good leads in your, um, in your party. So I was so happy about it when I hear those things. So guys, please come to my event, September 21. Go to info at vickyvegas.com. That's awesome. All good tips I, from I Vicky. Too much. No, I love it. <laughs> it's words of wisdom. No, because I have a lot of experience. That's why. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah so you should share it. Exactly what you're doing. Yeah. And by the way, folks, 
Vicky, one of the reasons why there's so many supporters, Vicky is so well known. Everybody wants Vicky's fo fo pho <laughs> photography when there's an event. So, yeah. yeah, she's who we use all the time. Okay. So, Sunny, may I just plug? Yeah. Okay, so here in Las Vegas, I'm an events photographer. So, I'm different from the other photographers. Let's say a food photographer is different, a portrait photographer is different. So, there are many, a wedding photographer is different. But I'm an events photographer so this is the difference let's say in a wedding the bride and groom will have their own photographer and videographer who follows them around you see that right whatever they do the pictures are taken and there's video but the mother of the bride or the groom they contact me to take photos of the crowd they want photos of their relatives of their friends of the event of the place of the food of the people so i am an events photographer i'm not that kind of wedding photographer neither am i a portrait photographer okay what is a portrait photographer you pose this is for your id you pose like that but that's not what I do. I give that to my friend, Mark Eli. Okay, that's plugging. That's why my friend, Mark Eli. Now, because we work together, um, he does videos in events and I do photography. So I am an events photographer. I am in the act. I mean, I'm right in the action. I, and I've been uh, doing this for the last, what, almost 10 years in Las Vegas. And uh, I, you know what? I have, I can't say my expertise, but probably is, is really political events. Like, uh, let's say the candidate, uh, I have to take a photo of this candidate. Mm -hmm. They hire me. In my mind, it's also my duty to bring the candidate around. Like when somebody talks to the candidate for so long and I see that, I try to interrupt nicely and I say, um, sir, excuse me, you are wanted here. Sir, excuse me to my candidate. Some candidates don't get it. Sometimes they get upset that, you know, they get <laughs> caught. And I'm thinking, you know what? This person has been talking to you for a long time. Other people want to talk to you too. So don't get mad at me because I'm trying to do, you know, uh, make you go around. So that's, that's the little extra I want to give. To, to the candidates. That's wow. it. Wow. <laughs> no, that's awesome. But I did learn that, by the way, because my son's a photographer. Ah, perfect. So he's a digital marketing yeah. a photographer, so oh he does gosh. a lot of retail. Yeah. And he works for a company here called Features. Uh, his name's Alex, and uh, he's, he's very good at it. But he, I, some, he, he, I ask him, hey, do you want to do your, uh, your cousin's wedding? Oh, no. No. Oh, no. no <laughs> that's not my different. forte, yeah. Dad. You know? Yeah. So that's you're, kind you're of, right. then he explained it to me why, you yes. know. So I'm like, oh, oh okay. By the way, I was going to tell you, Sonny, you have to be like, uh, some people say, oh, I don't go to Facebook. I don't, you know, I don't open it, blah, 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 blah. I'm saying, you know what? If you're not in Facebook, you're missing a lot because uh, there are 1.8 billion um, members of Facebook. And each morning, believe it or not, each morning, 1.2 billion open their Facebook. Wow. So if 1.2 <laughs> billion and you're not there, you miss the train. So And it's, guys, it's free. That's another advice. There you go. Yeah. Facebook. All right. No, that's fantastic. Vicky, thank you so much for coming in. I, I truly You mean, are we over? It. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, it's only a 30-minute <laughs> no, show. That's Sorry. <laughs> I'm kidding. You know what? I'm just so honored, Sunny. You're one of the people uh, I really admire Thank you. here in the community. You know why? Because I've been watching you and you're always for public service. So these are the guys that really count. Those uh, Sunny Vinuya and his beautiful <laughs> wife, Jen Vinuya. Thank okay, you. I'm I appreciate that. Yes. Thank you. Thank oh, you, by Vicky. the way, and my friend, um, Johan Saison, who is also doing this um, page of radio. <laughs> yes, out of the goodness of his heart. Mm -hmm. So I really appreciate and admire you, Johan Saison of PHLV Radio. Nice. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay, folks, that is our show. Please remember, we are also on Spotify, YouTube, Facebook. Please tune in. Good night, and we'll see you next Monday. Love ya. Bye. Mm -hmm.